Avon, we have the day. Let the coward go. Avon, the breath of battle rises from my brow. Gulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm is scared. Let that bruise Eight. piglet run north to King Harald's domain. His father. We are the masters of real. A toothless Pika. cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased. ...and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing and Ulrichstadi. Tell him we will come, battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. No, son. Another time. Right, young King Harald summons the Nor- Right, young. Not synchro. Hold cross.
think you can swill with them? Your clan is a foul stench. We are strong, enemy. Yes, strong. Ulver Ailes. Hann er farinn að stela plóum frá frunkum. Sá hann arming þeirra sumarinn fyrra. World. Hold cross fast travel. Hold cross fast travel. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. See shop. Leave. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. You want me to join your brotherhood? Is this how your brotherhood operates? A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Oh, you 
A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. World. Earthrights Young King. Hold. In Hold. Inventory. Tag. Thralls. D-R-A-U-G. Raven Clan Cloak Fight. D-R-A-U-G. Arhip. Raven Clan Cloak Fight. and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. You will need to put up your hood for them. The trick to work. Tag. Raven Sand Cloak Fine Cloak Press Cross Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Won't be gentle if they spot me. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. Evil! You arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. Are all subject to King Harald's truce? Break his peace, and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd, dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. We should find Sigurd.
still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, built fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Back out! You lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. Watch. Banish him. Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. 
Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I seek Valhalla. I am bound to Sigurd. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. It matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors are already marking his territory. Pack. Track west to seize a fate old friends and new challenge. West. Track the seas of fate, old friend. Harald may be young, but he's. Come! A little dice never caused any harm. interest you in a game of Orlok. Save or we will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian way. Harald may be Why young, no? but he's clever. Days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today, we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. 
and for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. And only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. We take the resources to England. We'll leave. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. Farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? It's time to go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anger, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May I give bless your voyage. Time for tears. 
Wars is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established hey, a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Abel, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Hurvalhalla!